The Oxygen Network has just caved under public pressure and canceled the all-new reality special, All My Baby's Mamas, after public outcry turned to outrage. The Oxygen special was to follow the life of rapper Shawty Lowe and his 11 kids by 10 women. But the mere concept caused an uproar with a petition that demanded that Oxygen pull the plug. I spoke with the woman behind the petition about the reason for her outrage, and here's what she told me. But you don't have the right without criticism from the world to trot your children, to bring your children along to witness your toxic behaviors. On this particular, in this particular pilot, you saw the women engage in juvenile female power struggles. You saw the, um, saw them fight for the, the sexual reward, the emotional reward, the financial uh, support of this one um, supposed to be father. There was a countdown where he tried to remember the names of his children, and then your your the blatant message is unprotected sex is good yeah. well sabrina obviously very passionate and determined there and tonight successful in her efforts and now for the very first time since oxygen pulled the plug on all my baby's mamas rapper shawty low is speaking out joining us tonight from atlanta for this showbiz newsmaker exclusive and i appreciate you being here how you doing mr hammer i'm doing very well and you heard sabrina there shawty low do you get why she and so many people so desperately wanted your show booted from the air. Well, you know, I, I feel Sabrina, she probably just seen a 13-minute clip. She did not get a, the show chance to get going and see what's going on. Basically, the show was basically going to be about me showing how I deal with my 11 kids and my 10 baby mothers. And basically, I haven't had a child in 11 years. I've been a rapper, a Charlotte, since uh, the year 2006. So, you know, I mean, I mean, my children lives financial, emotional, and physical. But it was not trying to show that um, about no promote unprotected sex, because if I was uh, promote unprotected sex, I would have had another child within 11 years. But let me ask frame. you, was there anything that was to appear on the program that you might have been concerned that your kids were going to see because I think that was a big concern of hers. Th these are kids who are going to be exposed to these different parts of your life and quite frankly you were putting them out there for all the world to see. Well basically you know my life as a t uh, I, I grew up hard in Atlanta, Georgia. My projects was Bowen's Home Projects off a, bon of, off a bank at Highway and you know I was raised, my mother was on drugs, my dad was elsewhere my grandmother raised me. She died from cancer when I was 17. So, you know, I had no father figure. You know, I had no guidance. And I did a lot of stuff in my life that, you know, I wasn't supposed to. And um, I can't, I don't like to brag about my life story, but I can't be like a, a very large drug dealer in the Atlanta area. And, you know, I was blessed to turn a negative into a positive, but turn my life around. But during that period, I had a lot of kids. And, you know, as I got older, you know, say I, I came to my senses. You know, that was my teen life, but I can't take back what happened. But, but I got, I'm in my children's life, all of them, 11. And some uh, parents don't take care of one child. I take care of 11 kids. Well, nearly 40,000 people, as you know, signed this petition saying they didn't want to see your story on TV and all my baby's mamas. So, what do you say to all of those people tonight? Basically, you know, it's 40,000 versus it's millions of folks in the world. 40,000. That's 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 a very low number. You know, so we know we got a petition right now, you know, saying, uh, for the people to sign to say they want to see the show. So here's the thing. You know, I think a big fear also was that it was going to glorify the idea of, of what pretty much everybody I've ever spoken with views as something that was irresponsible, having so many kids with so many women. Do you think that given your situation as a dad of 11 kids with 10 women, you are in a position to send the right message about parental responsibility? Basically, you know, everybody wasn't born with a silver spoon, mister. And uh, basically, like I said, I came from a very hard upbringing. And uh, I can't take back what happened. This is my life story. This is real reality. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm showing right now. You were, know were, you worried, were you worried, though, at all, as some people have voiced, that it, it was just playing into a stereotype? Uh, no, I'm not worried. You know what I'm saying? Why, was I, why would I be worried when it, this is something that's real? This is real life, you know what I'm saying? This is not nothing made up. It's a lot of reality shows on TV right to this day. It's way worse than probably what you finna see come from my reality show. I don't think I feel like the problem uh, of this TV reality show was the name, All My Baby's Mama. I didn't agree to that. Um, I felt like the TV show should have been named uh, uh, Being 21. 
Well, 11 plus. Yep. If you have success with your petition, I know you're petitioning to get the show on the air. You know, maybe you'll have some say in the title. We're going to leave it there, Shoddy Low. But thank you very much for giving your side tonight. I appreciate it. You're welcome.